Ladies and gentlemen, with Bismillah Rahman Rahim, let us welcome and witness procession of Idrisi International School IGCSE Year 2020 graduates entering this hall, leading by our honorable guest, Yang Bahagia, Professor Dato Dr. Noraini Idris. Please welcome. Oh Allah, you are our Lord, you are our Creator, you are our King, so grant us with your heaven and save us from your hellfire. Rabbana gfir lana wa tuba alina innaka anta tawwab al-ghafoor. Allahumma atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adhab al-nar. Amin. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. This individual has witnessed all these that I've mentioned and she can take you down the memory lane. And she is the best person to describe and to fill you with her kind, motivational, and sweet words. Please welcome our lovely school's principal, Principal Julie, to deliver her welcoming speech. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are here tonight to recognize their achievement to celebrate their journey so far, and to remind them again that we are very proud of each and every one of you. So my dear graduates, be someone important, be someone prominent in society, and I know all of you are capable. All of you are different. It does not matter which pathway that you may choose to take, but always strive to do your best in whatever you partake. You may be a teacher, but be the best teacher that you can be. You can be a doctor. Be the best, okay? And you can. Never give up. Always remember that. And I hope one day, when you achieve success, you will still remember us teachers here in Idrisi. Inshallah. So, don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have here with us Yamra Bahagia Professor Dr. Narani Idris, who have taken up some time off from her busy schedule. Thank you, Dato, to attend, to be part of the ceremony. We wouldn't want to miss this opportunity to listen to her words of wisdom, advices, and learn from her journey of success, especially in education. Without further ado, please welcome Yamra Bahagia Professor Dato, Dr. Narani Idris to deliver her speech, and will then do the honor to present Certificate of Achievement to our graduates. Please welcome. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you very much, our lovely MC for today. It is a great honor for me to be here today to celebrate the important milestone of the class of 2020, the year 11 students of Idrisi International School graduation ceremony. I was mentioned by several of these just now, and I so managed to talk to all of them. Yes, they are totally very different and exciting student. Big clap to them. When you, uh, you we graduate from high school, we are into the next phase to go to tertiary education, which is to the university level. So it's a different scenario. If it's in Idrisi, Miss Julie will come with the rotan. <laughs> but in the university, nobody will come and say, hey, Taufik. Any Taufik here? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Taufik, you must study. Nobody. We have to motivate ourselves. So last but not least, I pray that Idrisi graduates of today will always look back proudly of your school days, 
always remember your Idrisi, come back and visit. Just like what I'm doing when I go back to Johor Bahru, I will go to my English college school, Maktab Sultan Abu Bakar. Uh, you know, that's where the Sultan Johor school now is. He's my junior one year. Okay. And then, um, and carry with yourself for your whole life the dedication, care, and love that your teachers and parents give to you your way through life journey. Wabilai Taufiq wa Hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And thank you very much. Now, next highlight of the event, the commencement of the graduates. You all ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Our first graduate to come on stage. Please welcome Iman Hari bin Isa. Please welcome Akila Ghani Ahmad. Please welcome next Sophia Binti Mohammed Rehan. And next, please welcome Nuara Bujanna Binti Adam. Nurseti Isreen Binti Ahmad Yusri. Please welcome Oyum Indra Putra Bin Muhammad Hafiz. Next up, please welcome Zainab Ahmed El Hawa. Next, please welcome Sophia Binti Next, let us welcome Nur Sabrina Binti Imran Nadaraja. Muhammad Danish Shah bin Muhammad Sailas. We shall now announce the salutatorian first. This is the second highest ranked graduate of the entire graduating class. This individual is so talented. This individual has shown marked improvement in grades, attendance, and behavior, actively and consistently exceeds expectations, demonstrates academic achievement, a stellar student. This individual has proven that age doesn't matter in seeking knowledge and achieving your ultimate goal because to her, the sky is the limit. Taking nine subjects and scoring distinction for all nine subjects, the youngest among all the graduates, currently 14 years old, but you hit a home run, girl. Idris School IGCSC Graduation 2020 Salutatorian is Zainab Ahmed El Hawad. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so there you go. Okay, ready for the next one? Moving on, we will now announce the valedictorian. The student with the highest ranking among their graduating class. This individual, other than academic achievement, this individual has a strong charisma. 
You could feel it even when he walked just now. And positive influence to others, especially among the classmates. A very diplomatic person carries oneself as a respectful and responsible leader, does not settle with mediocrity, but every work offers an exceptional level of critical thinking, not only in works, but also on paper. Taking 10 subjects, 10 subjects, and scoring distinction for all 10 subjects, Idris C School at GCSE, Graduation 2020, valedictorian is Muhammad Danisha and Muhammad Thailand. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, so I didn't expect to uh, be first, <laughs> so I'm not really uh, prepared, but that's fine. So uh, first off, I'd like to thank all of you, our honoured guests, Yang Berbahagia Prof. Dato. Dr. Narayani Binti Idris, and the Board of Directors, our principal, teachers, friends and family, for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend our graduation here today. All of you have, in one way or another, helped us grow and contributed to our development that has led to us being here today. So I think it's safe to say that I speak on behalf of the whole batch 2020, or Year 11 Perseverance, in thanking all of you for everything you've done for us to this day. To be honest, getting to this point was no small feat. And I know all of us went through a lot, both good and bad, to get here, and we should celebrate it, like, for real. Personally, I had a lot of fun in EJC, you know? I know we, being students, we always complain all the time about how the school is and everything and how we wish for more. But to be honest, I feel like if it were any different, we won't have the same experiences, the same memories and stuff. Because part of the fun in high school, I feel like, is mainly making the most out of your surroundings with your friends and just having a really good time. And I, feel, I believe we did that, you know? Like playing killer game in class, playing Uno during free periods, building cardboard forts in class, watching someone as they climb out the window, going to Langkawi together with our own hard-earned money in Langkawi, I mean in ISF. You are Jimmy Hajime, 27 athletic trainer. It may just be me, but I think we did this whole thing, high school experience thing, pretty well. Of course, it did come with many obstacles. The most obvious one being uh, the studying part. Uh, personally, I struggled with that a lot. <laughs> there was a period of time, I think in the beginning of year 11, where I just didn't study, do my homework. I kind of just went to school, came back, watched movies, because I just couldn't really bring myself to do work. I'm very easily demotivated. So, I mean, I knew the importance of IGCSE, I knew I needed it for my future and stuff, but I just couldn't really bring myself to care. And I feel like we all go through that at some point where we just like, why should we care about this, you know? And I used to come up with a lot of excuses, I'm sure my teachers could tell you, the, I make for not doing my homework. There was the classic, I forgot my book at home, but it's actually in my bag. And once I even tried to convince Ustad Mior that my textbook page, I didn't have the page he assigned us. But knowing him, uh, of course he caught me and he laughed instead, scolding me. Um, but somewhere along the way, uh, I had a realization, you know? It's nothing like those sudden epiphanies where that made me view the whole world differently or anything. It was more of a dull realization that I had to get my stuff together if, if I didn't want to fail. Coincidentally, at the time, I was reading a comic and stumbled upon the line, to be strong is to be free. And for some reason, that line, it really put things in my life into perspective. I began to think of it this way. Basically, like, school is our foundation right now. We learn all the basic stuff about math, science, language, and humanities in order to prepare us for whatever we want to do. To put this in context, I'll use English as an example, since I did that mostly. Uh, but I believe this applies to everything you want to do. Um, teacher Nadira, she always used to tell me that during literature classes, that the essays I'm writing now barely scratch the surface of what I could like actually do and what I learned in university and everything. Because as I grow more skill, I can learn to dissect and manipulate the basic structure of an essay and make it better and better in my own style without strict adherence to like the basic structure and stuff that I'm taught in school. 
So I thought about it, you know, to be so thoroughly learned in a subject area that you can pick apart its most basic element and create something new. To me, that's what being free is. You know, to be able to take it to the most basic and create something, I think that's just really cool. So that's what I aspire to achieve. So I believe I can never reach that level of skill until I master the basics of what we are taught in school. And that's what high school and college is all about, teaching you the basics, honing and perfecting your foundation to be able to confidently manipulate and create with it. So when I saw that quote, to be strong is to be free, it reminded me of my goal to create. Coupled with the constant support from my friends, family and teachers, I forced myself to get back on track. So what if I was feeling demotivated? To be good, I must be able to produce good results at any time. Realizing that I have to make producing quality work a habit instead of something I achieve when I feel like it was another step I took towards improving myself. It was hard, of course, but seeing the improvement in my results after that, admittedly, it was quite rewarding. And I hope to continue this mindset and use it as a driving force in my future, no matter what I do. I'm still learning a lot every day, of course, and I enjoy learning. I hope I never stop doing it, and I hope everyone here continues to strive for greatness and mastery of whatever they have or will pursue. It hurts my pride to admit it, and I just know my classmates will make fun of me for this, but I, I really will miss you guys. It was fun to be the butt of all your jokes for, what, three or four years? It was, I mean, since, since I was 11. <laughs> Which is, which is kind of weird, um, really. They kind of raised me, to be honest, which is, which is really weird, actually. Um, so I guess that's it from me. Thank you for all the memories. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good evening to our special guest, Yang Ahmad Bahagia, Professor Datuk, Dr. Noraini Idris. The Board of Directors of Gaines Education Group, Principal Julie, parents, teachers, fellow classmates, juniors, and everyone here tonight. I'm actually really nervous, you can't see it, but I'm trembling right now. But it's, the day has come. I would like to begin my speech by taking this opportunity to thank everyone who has been part of this journey with the class of 2020. To the Board of Directors, Jazakallah khairan for materializing your vision and dreams in creating this school. Alhamdulillah, it became not only the foundation for me, but many of us, and inshallah, many more. Only Allah can truly reward you for your drive and passion in creating this school. <laughs> to Principal Julie, Jazakallah khairan for looking after us. It must be tough holding the position that you have. Any time I pass by the library, you are always occupied. A meeting would follow by another, one moment you're in the office and the next moment you're in the admin building. And this goes to the secondary coordinators as well, teacher Raimi and teacher Najwa, who, despite being a task force of only two people, are an absolute powerhouse in handling secondary school affairs. It's amazing to know that you don't have to have a sophisticated team of people. All you need is teacher Raimi and teacher Najwa and bam, everything works. To the beloved teachers, Jazakallah Khairan for being the backbone of the school. Or as you have taught us, the vertebrae of the school. The teachers have truly been an inspiration for all of us. They make classes feel less like a burden. They say home is where the heart is and the teachers are truly the hearts of EGC. If someone were to ask me what was the best thing about ABC, it would definitely be the teachers. <laughs> to the school coordinators, admin, finance, marketing, thank you and Jazakallah Khairan for operating the school. You aren't in classrooms facing students every day, but the work that you do ensures that the school runs as it should to facilitate for all of us. To the staff, thank you for maintaining the school. Your work is usually unnoticed because of how seamless facilities are for us, but you truly are the unsung heroes of EDC. <laughs> to my classmates, my second family, the day that we've been talking about is finally here. This is the point where we'll start making our own decisions and charting our own paths. 
After all that we've been through and how close we've gotten over the past few years, I was worried that I would lose you guys. But after a while, I thought to myself, if our friendship is true, no matter where we go or how long we stay apart from each other, our bond will stand the test of time. And to that, the Dr. Long Khoi Rang for your brotherhood and sisterhood. Now, I should have thanked these people first, but I wanted to make it more climatic, so I put it here. Um, to my family, thank you and Jazakallah Khairan for all the support you've given. All the sacrifices you have made. It's not easy coming to school every day with 40 minute ride and so many other things. I would like to extend this to all our families who have been supporting us through every step of the journey. You guys are really the coolest aunties and uncles around. <laughs> Even though you guys aren't with us taking the exam, your support is always with us and we know we, we, you always have our backs. And to those who I didn't mention but were part of the journey, Jazakallah Khairan, this journey wouldn't be the same without you, no matter how big or small of a role you play. My thank yous definitely aren't nearly as long enough as the journey we've all been through. I remember walking into Idrisi as a student for the first time with my grey PE attire and blue sports shoes, carefully for every step, careful for every step that I took on the grey cemented floors. That was on the 19th of September 2016, four years ago. Time flies. And right off the bat, from the first week, Idrisi already began nurturing me as a person. In that week, I overcame my fear of heights and rode on multiple flying foxes. Thank you. In that week, I overcame my fear of heights and rode on multiple flying foxes. Even though now, even certain escalators, when they get too steep, it's a little bit <laughs> scary for me. But I still rode on flying foxes. Also in that week, I learned how to ride a bike. Can you imagine it? At the age of, age of 13, I learned how to ride a bike. <laughs> However, also at the age of 13, I lost my skills on how to ride a bike. So now I'm back to square one. <laughs> Idris also organized iktikafs and camps, which were actually the first times I went away from home. Idris encouraged me to take up several leadership positions, like being the project manager for the editorial board and one of the floor managers for the family day, and situations like those really put me to the test and made me want to become better. Idrisi exposed me to so many events and trips, and I began learning about different things outside the syllabus I would have never imagined learning. There are so many fond memories that I have here. But in the end of the day, it's not about whether they were, those were good or bad memories. What matters is that it happened, so we will always have something to look back on. It will forever be engraved as our legacy and our history. Speaking about memories, one that I remember was two years ago, during my seniors or the class of 2018's graduation. Say, hey, is that you? <laughs> that was the first time I came across the word valedictorian. I didn't know what it meant at first, but once I did, deep down, I told myself that I wanted it. It was one of the motivating factors that made me want to work harder and remove the obstacles binding me. And alhamdulillah, despite exams being cancelled because of the pandemic, I still got the opportunity to strive for this. So thank you to ABC. This opportunity to strive has taught me that if an idea is worth considering, then it is worth exploring. If something is worth exploring, then it is worth dreaming. And if something is worth dreaming, then it is worth chasing. Although I stand before you tonight as the Batch 2020 Ballot Victorian, this victory, this award, isn't mine alone. It also belongs to my family, my teachers, my friends, the school, and every single person I've come into contact with because they played a part in shaping who I am today. I remember walking into Idrisi as a student for the first time with my grey PE attire and blue sport shoes, careful for every step that I took on the grey cemented floors. But today, I will be graduating. I am no longer timid with my steps, rather me and all of us are striding forward, ready to take off 
and soar and take charge of our limitless potential. Things won't be easy, but they will certainly not be impossible. Even if something does seem impossible, it doesn't matter. Because Idrisi has taught me that wherever I go, how, how far I go, inshallah, I should, I can, and I will be the change. Thank you and Jazakallah Khairan to want everybody once again. I love all of you. I would also like to take this opportunity to apologize for my wrongdoings. My name is Muhammad Danisha, and for the last time in Idrisi, I am signing off. Salam alaikum.